Sustainable Development and Introduction What is sustainable development? Why do best practices in sustainable development involve participatory methods? How are the equity, environmental, and economic goals related? We'll examine these questions in this video. The need for sustainable development came after a team of scientists from MIT used computer simulation to model the Earth as a dynamic system. This was published in a book called Limits to Growth in 1972, in which they showed, through their simulations, that there was a real potential for a global collapse of the biological support systems on which human life relied upon, if we continued to conduct business as usual. The most widely cited definition of sustainable development, shown here, comes from the United Nations 1987 Brundtland Report. This definition leads to many questions, such as, what will be needed by future generations? This seems impossible to answer, but there are a few things we do know. The fact that we are using resources faster than the rate at which they're being regenerated will guarantee that they won't be available for future generations. Let's look at another metaphor for sustainable development. The idea depicted here is that of stocks and flows. The term sustainable means that the flow of expenses is less than the flow of income. In this scenario, the stock of resources is not depleted. The term development implies an increase in sufficiency of real human well-being for all. As you can imagine, this term well-being which refers to comfort, happiness, and health, can mean different things to different people. This is one of the inherent challenges with sustainable development. Sustainable development brings to mind the parable of the elephant and the three blind men. As shown here, each man has a very limited ability to detect and discern the whole situation. Yet to each man, what they sense occurs to them as a very convincing and total reality. For sustainable development, Multiple perspectives are required. At the time of this recording, sustainability science is an emergent field. Current best practices in sustainable development call for participatory designs, which engage all stakeholders in the process of design, giving equal voice to all. Oftentimes, sustainability is modeled as a balance between the competing goals of economic, environment, and equity. In this model, sustainability is viewed as the overlapped region where all goals are met. There's a way in which this particular model falsely depicts the situation. For example, what is the possibility of economic activity that resides outside of the environment? This model visually promotes the idea that the goals of these are entities unto themselves, where there is sometimes an overlap. This can lead to the false notion that there is an inherent competition between the goals of economy, equity, and, and the environment. An alternative model is to consider the physical relationship between the three. There's one environment that we all share, all of society resides within this environment, and all of economic activity takes place within the human system of society. In this model, it becomes clear that the health of each one is dependent upon the health of the other. You might think it trivial to think of how the idea of sustainability is represented, but models have a powerful influence on how we think of things. Consider what it would be like if we drew the force of gravity pointing like this instead of toward the center of the Earth. How would this inaccurate model of gravity influence our decisions? Sustainable development meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Inherent in this definition are several questions rather than universal answers. Sustainable development is fundamentally holistic, so multiple viewpoints are required to serve the whole. Economic systems sit inside of social systems, both of which are inside of our one environment. This means that sustainable development must involve the health of all three systems. In the next video, we look at ways to measure sustainability through indicators.